Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Royal Lover, but we gotta talk about hearts and minds. The native packers will barely speak to our garrison, let alone give them the information we need. These groups were already extremely tight knit, and the devastation brought to their home has only made them more reclusive. Most carry small to totems and trinkets, are on with them and spend their time either hunting or gathering or attending to the woodland homes. Our search for information in these communities must answer a few key questions, of course. We still don't have a clear picture of what led to their attacks or an explanation for the flames that were sighted the same morning. In a situation as complex as this, there are a number of ways to approach the issue. Offer medicine to build trust. Yeah, a massive influence. Midnight, cap mid midnight kidnapping should happen. Ooh. Massacre or ship. We're friends, not soldiers. Well, we get a support equipment. No, we, no, we send support equipment to them. Do we have any support equipment? We do have some. We get some massive influence, because currently we are at what? For the Packers, we have 5% influence and no coercion, even though we're going to get some coercion and lose some coercion, so build bonds with them. Um, we're friends, not soldiers. Strong influence, massive influence. How much is massive? Is that 20%? You know, let's try that one. 15. Could be better, but whatever. We've got some, quite a few comms to go through. And if you want to read about trade from Hawaii, please go right ahead. Uh, we can really, honestly, use more war support. But I want to get more political power just in case. Political power is always very, very useful to have. It could kill them all. We can promote peace. Or we can survey the battlefields. Or interrogate prisoners. Invest in the Packers, maybe. Gain influence with them. But we lose stability, which I don't like. Um, survey the battlefields. Kind of do want to see what that one does. So, let's see. What's up, comms included? Uh, such as this. Someone says, as per my personal recommendation, I would try, try to be peaceful with the Packers for a few reasons, one of which is Chitza can get her karma higher by pursuing peaceful options. You can likely do the Chitza needs karma, a good karma focus earlier. So we'll see. And he also uh, loves uh, other stuff. Uh, someone else says, I would say to keep the other counselors alive not only because of anything would have lower karma, using in-game fallout logic. Murdering your fellow leaders would do uh, that. Oh, Dimitri's device. Uh, let's see. The extra choices that you can make are also potentially beneficial if you keep them alive as well. Maybe after a certain amount of time, uh, others might have to, might be able to take their turn to leave the country as well, like Dimitri and Nagore, and get more fo access to more focuses and get more content. So we'll see. Someone says, uh, we should find the source of the attack, and for that, we'll need some influence. Someone says, um, you should complete the bad karma's focus, and then the neutral, and then the good karma. Someone says, I've heard a royal's bug at the start. Has it been fixed? Is it playable now? Someone says, can you play as Tanya's Legacy? as the cause in, of course, this mod, Oral Blues. Someone says, the previous mod really fleshed out a royal much more than the newest update. Someone says, I would love to see a new Vegas playthrough in 4.0, love the content though. Someone says, can you do Thousand Week Reich as Yuri Orlov? And someone else says, I love Chitsu's haircut. Someone says, plays Chad Kaga. Kaga demands it. Someone says, uh, I thought I saw episode 2, but I don't see it anymore. Ah, uh, well, this is episode 2 right now. And I didn't upload it because I've been extremely busy. Someone asks, why don't you buy guns from organizations you have plenty of caps? That's because they're a, little, they're a little buggy, and usually we're okay on caps and stuff like that. And someone else says, I have very, very weird choices when it comes to this uh, campaign. You're right. Dimitri's device. Dimitri smiled and lightly judge or juggled the cold metal box to initiate it. Or to the uninitiated. It appeared to be nothing more than some old contraption marked by buttons and dials on the surface. To be Dimitri, though, this piece of metal was the culmination of years of work. He had originally come across the idea during the time spent in a happy camp with the Packers. It had been a hobby of his since then, tuning, fiddling, and tampering both with the device and by extension the environment around it. Given the present circumstances, he now hoped to use the device on the land in which he had birthed it. The forest fire had scarred much of the northern, northern Rockies, or reaches, and the wanting destruction affected the Packers' psyche. Using the device to help regrow the forest could be seen as a useful gesture of good faith, creating trust between the very weary people and a royal. The vest was also fully modular, meaning it could be used as a punishment of sorts. To incorrectly, it could cause a destructive level of growth, overrunning sediments, and perhaps even killing the slow or unlucky for those in need. So now, 25% not bad. And of course, we did rid of that last time. And now we can do wealth as health. If you want to read this again, please go right ahead. Karma will increase. So we can do goods for the people eventually as well. So right now, we are still stuck at support from Shady Sands. Since they're finally, we've always stood as a northern wall of California, the gateway against the cannibals of the north. Now, Murphy wishes to recognize and support our role, expanding trading ties between our two nations. That's a little more profit for both of us and confirms the Republic is in the, is in the West's last and best hope. Perhaps in time, this will lead to closer relations between our people. Do they still have a statue? Or that statue? Karma's, oh, Chitta's karma will increase as well. Promises friendship and equality won't look. Ooh, the northern threat. Well, so now she's that manipulative. Not bad. Interesting. And if you want to let's see, Gek. Nagore's karma will lower. Which is not necessarily a bad thing, because Nagore over here, he has to have neutral or bad karma. Does he have to have good karma? 
Because if we can go with him eventually... Oh, Chitza has... We need Chitza to have good karma now, too. And good karma. So we need to go here and then go rush into that if possible. But if not, you know, you never know. He will need good karma eventually. Um, over here... Add workshop recruitment, that's pretty good. Of course, with this one, um... Nagor's karma will lower. Nagor's karma will increase. Ruling party people, good karma, bad karma. So, interesting. Or neutral. At the very least, neutral. Alright, so now with this, 30%. Lose a bit more of that. Promote peace. We'll see. We will see. Gain coercion. We could use a little more political power. I don't get that much every day, which does kind of suck, but whatever. Go and use that too. Alright. Invest in the Packers. Secure the board of the Packers. Gain coercion. Get more influence. I do want more influence. I don't want to lower our stability, though. Kill them all. Well, probably not. Take the prisoners. Lose a little bit of stability. Get a little more influence. That'd be nice. Serve the battlefields. So we'll have at least 40 influence, which would be good. Because we have a lot of coercion with these guys over here. But health is wealth, my friends. Health is, of course, wealth. Your kid's looking pretty good, though. <coughs> Excuse me. So only 22 to 7 though. The world's looking pretty relatively normal. The cause. Able. War industrialist. Our founding. Operation Snowstorm. Uberdan. Big Betty. Lead the operation myself. Bring down Tyrant. Victory in the North. ATA Mark II. Nice. And happy April, everybody. Happy, happy April. Anything else down here yet? No. 30%. Not bad. Build bonds. 35% and negative 5% coercion. Well, as long as we get more influence, that's what we really care about. Oh, would you look at that. Oh, Royo. Uh, we need a little more political power, but what else is new? Yeah, what else is new? We lose uh, five caps searching the graveyards. The army contingent seen to investigate the battlefields have made a number of surprising discoveries. First, evidence indicates that each Packer warband almost always included a druid who acted as the group's commanding officer. It's unclear if these druids were chosen for tactical prowess or fanatical devotion to some hard cause, but most were regarded in a rear of a warband, indicating that the warriors held them in high regards. That's probably all we'll be able to glean from these battlefields, but our investigators have noticed a small number, a number of small warbands active in the region. We could order our soldiers to track them down, potentially preventing them from becoming a future threat, but there's no guarantee this strategy will pay off. Strong coercion will use this to understand them. We must continue the search. Strong influence? Well, we already have a lot of influence, and getting more would be pretty nice, too. Hmm. Well, we're gonna have... Well, there's even more coercion now. We'll use this to control them. Well, might as well. 80% is pretty nice, though. And I do want to try to interrogate oh, prisoners. Interrogation report number 21. Health is wealth. Deal with all sorts. The best approach to diplomacy requires a neutral outlook. Judging yourself as morally righteous or looking down on others as suck up snobs will only lead to disagreement. Turning party elites. We'll rush through this as fast as possible, maybe? Nagor's karma will lower, which is not necessarily bad or good. We'll see. Kill them all. The Battle of Hoover Dam. The fate of Mojave lies in the balance. Oh. Do the Mo Does the Mojave checker always win? Oh, wow. Oh, they're, they're just expanding out. I thought they actually took that territory. I would have been like, wow, big grass? Goodbye, big grass. Goodbye. Occupied territories. Uh, nonsense. We have no occupied territories. What are you talking about? Oh. Compliance could be better, though. 68.7. 0.9. It's going down by almost 0.1 a day. It's very good. Alright. Um, 55% is pretty good already. So, as long as we have at least 40%, we'll be good. Over 40% of both. Strong arm, peaceful resolution to the crisis. So, I do want to save some political power, but... We could lose some manpower, maybe. There we go. Lose some manpower, get some coercion. When removed... Oh, it's fine. Cool. Yeah, we definitely want to interrogate prisoners, but we'll get this one done soon, too. Two more factors for each is very good. Um, anything else? Propaganda, manage our subjects. 
organizational relations I almost never talk about. Interactions with the followers, not really necessary. Ooh, another division. Nice. Very nice, actually. And that's with Klamath. All right. Getting closer. Another one, nice. Deal with all sorts. Trade tariffs. Three voting slots. Metal stockpiles. Oh, there's no description there. Okay, well, we'll see. Go ahead of time. More man. Oh, more manpower there was not bad. Build bonds. Yeah, we could. Yeah, we'll do it anyway. It's going up. We only have minus five percent coercion. That's all. That's all. And then our trade leader. Oh, look at that. Chitta has come far since she first began to order all those ball players. Now she commands an army of traders that all but swear loyalty to her and will most certainly continue to expand that empire further. Uh, Gek clearings in her oil. One of the immediate benefits of the Gek was its clearing of needless forests and boulders to make space for arable land. It divides its powers long tapped, but our builders can follow it in its footsteps, making room for further industrial expansion. Um, war prisoners build slaves. Nagor's armies won numerous battles and brought back a variety of prisoners. So far, they've launched an hospitality, no doubt waiting to return to home one day. Without convincing, Chitza could turn these lazy prisoners into heroic slaves and integrate them into a heroic economy. The second Max Sack breakout. History repeats itself. On the dead of night, a number of Max Sack prisoners staged a daring escape, using stacks of dynamite and stolen rifles that burst through one of the prison's gates, spewing out in the night. The cleanup operation is already underway, but this fiasco leaves a sour taste in the mouth of those who suffered at the prisoners' hands a year, half a year ago. Protests and riots have already broken out, even in Royal itself, over the mishandling of the prison. Even after the prisoners are rounded back up, it's clear to most that the max sack experiment is over. This makes us look pretty bad, doesn't it? Yes, it does. War comes anew. The reports of young Packers attacking the garrison troops has made it clear that our investigation was a failure. Whatever progress we made seemed to have fallen short of fully understanding what stopped in the outbreak of a second war. One of our small comforts is that this conflict will be lamentably one-sided. The most experienced warriors were killed in the first war, and our mapping of the Packers' forest homes reduced the advantage they once held. While this may end up being attracting only a setback, Acting as a setback for a royal is most likely to permanently cripple the Packers' tribes. Finally ends. All is in four ways, but interrogation report number 21 first. So far, interrogations have suffered a lack of focus. To start in the war, the enemy soldiers who suffered or surrendered were brought into the makeshift camp set up near Grand Pass. Jailers of Max Sec were brought in to oversee the camps, but they were surprised by the lack of escape attempts. Most prisoners sat defeated and dejected. Throughout the quarters, men uh, taking the meals offered. They rarely make conversations, even to each other, making interrogations an awkward affair. Our officers aren't sure if they should get under the skin or, tr to, or to try to appeal to their homesickness. Their approach you choose will no doubt dictate the information we manage to extract. Well, minus 15%. Amnesty, you must get more influence. All eyes on four ways. While the NCR is finally beginning to fully take on the mantle of the truly California Republic, a roar is grown to consolidate most of southern Oregon. Both nations, with their solely growing empires, have focused on four ways as a potential source of economic support. A natural junction for traders traveling from Oregon to California, four ways provides safe harbor for weary souls, taking a generous cut in the process. Despite their amassed wealth, four ways are being slowly torn in two directions. Towards a powerful NCR in the south and the upstart Aurora in the north, a royal will prevail in uncovering the truth. It's no easy task, but... We did manage to fully uncover the truth of the Packer society. Their seemingly a harmless semi-nomadic communities were in truth overseen by an elite ring of Druids. These Druids oversaw a woodland re religion. They came to infiltrate almost every aspect of Packer life, turning them naturally reclusive people into religious fanatics. Their tribal religion ostensibly promoted a strong respect for nature, but in reality it was used by the Dru Druidic elites to accumulate power. Grandpa Fig Leaf's arrival may mark a shift in their goals. It was already close with many of them, and slowly managed to convince the inner circle that a royal posed a serious danger to the power. So, the night before the attack, a small group began to fire that quickly, Began a fire that quickly spread through the north of the reaches, northern reaches. The inner circle issued an unanimous proclamation in the hours after a royal was responsible. From there, the rest is history. Who knew? Well, and then that's that. Interrogation report 146. It wasn't easy to break through our prisoners' minds. Pondering, our investigators had originally theorized that the indetention was a trained defensive mechanism taught to make them resistant to torture. But after we managed to communicate with the prisoners, we learned that their perception of the situation couldn't be further from reality. These wars have been brainwashed to believe that surrendering to an enemy is a sacrilege, and that any who do uh, will be punished by the Packers' four spirits. That is a tribalistic nonsense, but these lies seem to have a tight hold on most Packer warriors. It seems that a group of druids are other source of this fanaticism. We'll investigate the matter further. Finally, a breakthrough. Our trade leader? I uh, can't promote it just yet. But we're working on it. We're getting there. And happy uh, September, everybody. Happy September. Keep training, y'all. And... Clearings, yes. Uh, or we'll do this one first. Nagora, he's seen as what? He's kind. And now, 
We're known as we have good karma for now too. Gek clearings in a royal. One of the immediate benefits of the Gek is what's the clearing of needless force and boulders makes space for arable land, like I think I read this earlier. The device's power is long tapped, but our builders can follow in its footsteps, making room for further industrial expansion. Look at that manpower we have now. Very nice. I'm still trying to build more cities though. 87%. We're still working on that. Um, honestly, with 80%, that's that's pretty darn good. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty darn good. Oh, now we do four ways. Where's four ways? Oh, right here. Alright, well, four ways is next, I guess. Not that strong, actually. Packers. Now nah, they're a puppet, too. Alright, well. Invest in four ways. Get more influence. Wow, we like no stability. Holy crap. Secure board with four ways. Gain some more coercion. Four ways. We have a lot of coercion already. Build bonds. Settlement guards. 18 combo width. This is not bad. Do we have anything else here we can throw on them? Maybe infantry armor. Anti tank rifles. That'd be nice. So we'll see. Yeah, we'll definitely do this one and that one. Imminent radar on boards from the den. What's your defense, huh? Ah. My guys are already technically over there, so. Three of them are already here. They have that. They're not that strong. We have generally more uh, battalions in our own divisions than they do. But, you know, I guess we'll see. So we'll do that one. Build a bigger pass. Grants pass some of the most natural and hospitable land in our territory. For, unfortunately, our Gek was used primarily in the core air, or royal area. Leaving the pass as a rugged area with little value. Manual labor could change that, but that'll take time. And now, everyone, we have two ways for four ways. In the competition for domination for four ways, there are two paths available to us. Versus through coercion, which will eventually result in a military campaign against a target. This will, of course, enrage a competition, as well as possibly provoke some level of military response. More peaceful, perhaps less satisfying route could be taken through gaining influence in four ways merchant guild. Everywhere power holds a higher level of influence, or four ways will have the upper hand in negotiation, allowing them to force their opposition into accepting disadvantageous, disadvantageous agreements. They're beating the crap out of us right now, which is kind of, kind of god awful. So, um, we have no way we can do that. Um, lose more influence, get more coercion, but we can try it. Why do I click on invest in four ways? I don't know. I prefer to secure the border. That'd be better. How are they? I might just go with strong influence. Oh, that's a bad one to do. Yeah, I don't like this. This is not good. We begin aggressive negotiations. They're fighting the Shi as well. They'll have to fight the Legion as well, too. Economic support. Strong influence. Negative five. Well, let's see. Let's give it one more time. Because if not, we'll, we'll just invade. I'm just going to invade. Um... We're 65%. Again, aggressive negotiations. Do it again. How much money do we have? We got enough money for now. Invest. Secure the border. We can try to. But if they go any higher, we're just going to invade. Like, this is that's kind of stupid. Sixes to sevens. Chitza tossed another leaf into the bin behind her. The advertisement ideas she had been presented with so far seemed lackluster best. Most tried to directly emulate the new Reno style, coming across as sarcastic as best. Sixes to sevens? Really? How was that going to attract migrants? Bro, I, I'm, I don't like this. This is stupid. This is really, really stupid. And we're trying to catch up as much as we can, but the NCR has way too much influence. Well, I mean, they, don't get me wrong, they're, they're huge compared to us. Absolutely massive, but still. News from Eureka? Oh, God. Eureka's been on the minds of the Royans for council for a few months, and the town's finally coming to clarify his relationship to us. There's certainly a level of pity that permeates discussions on the subject trapped between us and the NCR. Everyone's certainly glad to be not in their position still. We think we can offer them a fair deal at the cost of some of their independence. Becoming our subject will allow them to maintain their simple way of life without being in fear of invasion. All we need to do is convince them of those plans, and since unfortunately our most recent expansion has soured our reputations among the fellow portmasters. Benefit us to both. Well. Can we really afford to do everything here at the same time? Where are we at with the Eureka? We want more influence. That's fine. Probably more influence with Eureka, so. 85 cents, we're slowly getting up there. Fair defense would be nice. That's just very annoying. No. 
We're going in. Screw this. This is stupid. This is insanely stupid. Just go in. What a waste of time. I'm gonna force the attack too. Um, I did tell these guys to train, so let's do that too. And you guys go over here and do that too. That'd be nice. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not gonna waste time like that. That is so stupid. They don't like it. Oh well. And you do that too because you can. I mean, you can't compete against the NCR. You really can't as, as anybody really, makes it, maybe except for the Legion. So, we make a proposal. Is it war? What is it war? If Yuriko is not part of the NCR, they will be forced to either attack or become a puppet. Good. Kill them all off. And there you go. Thank you. Well, they made the choice. Oh, well, they're done. That was a waste of time. Coercion? Complete waste of time. Under new management. New sound song from old Brian on Trading Post today. The old flag that used to hang from the old church steeple have been replaced. Four colors, four paths, gone with the morning sun. Instead, of yellow 13 now signals your arrival in a rolling territory. Uh, if it suits us, it suits you. Building bridges. What if the people of Eureka fear the most is foreign domination? Accepting a royal as their overlord does imply that, but we can take steps to show that this will be uh, this will be to their benefit rather than their harm. Eureka's land is mountainous and barren, leaving little space for farming for a settlement outside of Eureka itself. We have an impressive engineering corps who could, can, who could conduct building projects throughout the territory. This project wouldn't be free, but it would help us build a relationship with Eureka. Build new workshops for the craftsmen. Failed because Dwitchy has good karma. Oh, that's not bad. It's a strong influence with Eureka, which is what we want. Engineers? Saboteurs is a better term. Strong coercion. Offer logistical training. Mm. Massive influence. Strong influence. I like massive influence, but I can use those civvies, but... Ah, I get the massive. Fifteen percent is okay. Not bad. Lose some coercion. And for Eureka? Sure, why not? Uh, let's keep making more millies for now, because we did lose some of that stuff there. How far are we with the Royal right now? Oh, remote trade node would be the last one we do. And that was such a waste of time. Sons of Kaga took three states. Guardians, that's Kaga. Oh. Oh. A Royal's Exile. Economic Growth, excellent. Oh, yes, I gotta play as Kaga sometime. Sons of Kaga seems amazing. How many divisions do these guys have? I mean, there's, there's a lot we want to play as here. Oh, they have a lot of divisions, though. Hmm. Not good. Uh, that's not bad. Circuitry. Get some of that too. Some more civvies because we lost a couple here and there. Just dumb. Got a lot more resources though, which is very nice. Six is a seven. Then what? We just collect a lot of political powers. It's time for someone else to take the reins. Is there anything else here? Robco Industries TM copyright 2075 to 2077. All right. Well, no, it doesn't seem like we have. The she make an offer. It's no secret that the raw resources in Eureka and Navarro territories are incredibly important to the she economy. <clears throat> it's quite a surprise them when the she approach us with an offer. They correctly recognize that we are far stronger than Eureka and stand to crush them were a war to break out. The she have offered to use their influence in Eureka to facilitate our takeover, as long as we were to reimburse them for their expense. There's no doubt the she stand to make a pretty heavy profit off this deal, but it might benefit us as well. We'll pay them off to an extent. Forty gifts. There's no point to this. Well, cap wise, we've got quite a bit, so. Why not? So with Eureka, we already have 45%, which is pretty darn good. So now, we can't do anything. Power armor frame. We're out of focuses, which means we can collect more, way more political power now, which is going to be actually really, really nice. Maybe we can actually core stuff here. That'd be kind of nice, too. Because, my goodness, we could core stuff, and that'd be great. Great. Special forces. Um, we'll head to time. We'll head to time. Plain stuff. Yeah, go up. Why not? That seems pretty nice. Let's get the border. Honestly, I don't want to lose any more stability. I might just go ahead and try to get more stability this way. That might just be for the best stocks. Oh, great. Cool. We need way less. Demo equipment, we need way more. Go so three, three. Um, in the meantime, mount forces are looking okay. Sediment guards could use a little bit more defensive stuff. You know what? We got it. Why don't we do it? There you go. Use both. Begin scavenging program? Why not? Hurts our uh, research speed? Sure. Why not? 
with some coercion? Why not? All right. So I guess we'll see you in just a little bit. A show of trust. Eureka's primary mode of income is their port masters, the elite mercenaries who travel abroad in exchange for caps sent home to Eureka. These are fierce inspires, but due to their small numbers, they are often placed in dangerous situations. We can do some of our military expertise to provide them aid, but this could backfire if we were coming to blows with them. Reconnaissance support, gain influence. Donate sandbags for outposts, gain coercion. Focus on the domestic, gain influence and coercion? Why not? The final struggle. Eureka's facade of outrage is bowled over. Whatever trickery Port Master Smith orchestrated to enrage the Eurekan public against Rua successfully turned the tragedy of the port into a full blown war. Our people, while still unsure why a royal has been blamed, tend to defend what we fought for to the lost man. The past years have been spent in building alliances and control over the region around us, and growing an empire to keep our people protected. We can and won't let all that work slip away. Once again, war between hearts. We go to war we go to war with them. They just went to war with us. I I pressed enter when as soon as we saw that, but uh, a world declares war. A world declares war. At three, uh, okay. All right then. Um, we're just gonna go straight on in if we can then, and uh, do what we must. You know, to do what we must. You guys go there if you can. Keep them busy. I mean, there's there's a lot of divisions, but a lot of them are just militia. Oh, never mind. They've up to eight. Okay. Well. I wasn't expecting it like this, but whatever. Get every cap of the army, that'd be great, but... Well, there's Arcata. Arcata? Arcata. Something like that. Oh, we definitely want to borrow too. She are doing... They're actually pushing out. Holy crap. This guy isn't in war with anybody else. Well, go figure. Huh. And circle and destroy, of course. It's the way they would have wanted it. We've lost 70, they've lost 800. We could use more factories, though. Um, oh, do we have something else here? Well, for y'all, we go rooted strong back. Not really necessary, so. Well, Aero Warfare? Hey, nice. Well, they lost 800. Now they have a lot more divisions. Where do all these divisions come from now? That's my question. How close are they to capitulation? How do they get so many more divisions? Right, let's get to the line. At the very least. Go ahead and attack if you need to. That's fine. Now they have power armor? Enclave remnants. Oh god. Oh good lord. What the heck? How do we have... How do we not... Recommendation authority, of course. How do we not have air superiority? If they have no planes... And we can cover the airfields. How do we not have air superiority? That's my question. Radio's nice. Decryption, maybe. Because we do have anti tank. Not enough of it, but we do have quite a bit of anti tank. Um, of course, we could maybe use more, perhaps. With slightly less guns, maybe. We do have about quite a few, which is nice to see. Any more plane stuff? Do they actually have planes? No, they have no planes. Are they able to shoot down our stuff? Go figure. Let's right, hold the line for now. That's not very fair, now is it? They just pop out an easy 40 division. Oh, not 40. Like 30 some odd divisions? That don't make any sense, man. Now they're attacking us too? Attacking us like crazy, man. Well, let's have them go on first. Yeah, they have they have a lot of how do they get all this stuff? I got plays uh, Eureka sometime. Well, I did want to get well get, what? Enemy country at least forty percent of total number of factories. Factories. Oh, okay. Next planning. What else we have around here? Defense. Damage garrison's not bad. Attack defense. I'll go at least with you for now. No, it's only 5%, but... 5% is still pretty helpful. I'll try playing attack would be very nice, too. Some of that as well. Ah. Using up some of that there, uh... Air XP, I see. Well, it's definitely a struggle, I'd say that, for sure. How much manpower do they have? Because once they're out, they're gone. Hopefully. Um, I'm 
not sure we can really pierce them. Here, go, go right here. How are we losing? Holy crap, this is... They're overpowered. Eureka must be completely broken. Alright, force defense. They want to force attack. We're going to force defense then. How do they encircle us? Holy... Yeah, they're cheating. They've got to be cheating. I'm not going to tolerate. This is stupid. This is insanely stupid. And yet they have... How? With nothing. Yeah, I'm going to have to do some fucking stuff off screen because this is BS. This is complete BS. They just pop out an easy 30 divisions. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to tolerate this type of crap. A returning hero in 2279, uh, three years after his departure, the chosen one returned from his self imposed exile. Greeted by endless cheers and wild celebrations, everyone in the royal was certain that he would take again up the mantle of leadership. The leadership of the council, which had guided the royal to dominate uh, Northern California, had reached its end. Let's not disturb him. Well, let's just see what he's like. Because this is one of the worst things I've ever done in Overall Blues. Like this here. Yeah, I get it. They're part of the Enclave. You know, whatever. But it's it's not fun. It's really not fun. Um, I guess we could have, could have gone with these guys, but let's at least see what this guy's like right now. His old friends. Oh. The Chosen One returns. This return was silent like his departure. Tell him to tell he's about the bear of good news. So, even if we have Matt equal divisions, they just beat the living crap out of us. And I'll be honest, this is not fun. This is really not fun at all. Um, we can't do anything. We literally can't do a single thing here. So... I can't say this is fun at all. And I, at this point, even trying to use comms commands doesn't really do anything. But back to Vault City. Very system Lynette invited us to pull up technological know-how and resources. We could reject this officer or offer, but the chosen one learned much from his time in Vault City. Perhaps a new generation can begin again. Learn technology, they'll learn morality. What what lessons can slavers teach us? Sure, research form, why not? Yeah, can we even do anything here? I mean this is this is it's not very good in my opinion. I don't like this. This is not very good at all. One of, by far, one of the worst things I've had to do in Old World Blues. It's just not fun. Um, I, I doubt we could win here in Auric. Right? Apparently they have planes that just destroy our planes. Yeah, they can shoot down our guys a little bit, but still. Um, try radar, but... Do not do anything? Um, look how much we struggle. Three versus... How many? One... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine versus three, and we can barely win here. How and why? Chosen <laughs> uh, one returns. My wanderings. Chosen one's a lot of stores. Vices of Reno, fledging Republic of California, riders of Utah, nothing we haven't known of. But he seems to be more troubled than in the past. Some of us wonder whether the harsh reality of the West End has gotten to him. Well, maybe. I don't know. We can't do anything, though. We try this. Probably not going to work very well for us, though. We're going to start losing here, probably. Why are we winning here? Because I, 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 We've done nothing but struggle here. It makes no sense. I really don't understand this. I really don't understand Overall Blues so much. I'm sorry I'm complaining so much, but this is... This is stupid. <laughs> I just don't understand. Like... I mean, I'd use consequence to get leave into this point. Like, if we didn't use consequence, we would have already died by now. How about setting to work? <clears throat> a royal changed drastically in the chosen one's absence. Chitza, Nagor, and Dimitri had each made their mark on the nation. Force the attack. As the disturbances in O'Royal's neighborhood, neighbors turned a semi exclusive tribe to the region of power. Dimitri's work was the most impressive. Chitza's proven her shrewdness. She was an operative. What if she dies like that? Nagor has good karma. 30. This doesn't make any sense. What? Why? Why? This just does. Out of everything, that's not fair. It should be three percent, probably, not thirty. But you know what? Uh, Royal probably still bugged. I don't know. Maybe it's not. It's supposedly bugged before, but you know, I don't know anymore. I really just don't understand anymore. Um, facing the council. Originally intended to be an advisory council, council members took the man of the chosen one after he suddenly departed. With his return, many wonder whether they will continue to guide a royal to the future. Council will convene to determine the fate of a royal. But, like, holy crap. 
Can we both come here? Can we do anything about this? Nope. Is it mountains? No, it's hills. Still. Four divisions, four, three, four. Yeah, still can't win here. Yeah, no. Again, 6v4? Nope, we lose instantly. You know, go figure. No manpower, but they can still do more than fine against us. Do you have any planes? They've got nothing now. Man. We're going to wait till this they're done with their fourth fencing. Try to attack again, but there's no guarantee that we'll do okay, even. Some military factors would be good, of course. Um, guns? What are we doing for guns? Nope. I'm no fine on guns. We need more fire teams and demo equipment, but what else is new? Do some doggos. But yeah, not much else. Well, let's see what the big wandering is about first. Or try to use cons commands again to actually do anything here. Old world naval targeting system is pretty useless. Exiting influence? My god, this sucks. Oh, Jesus, that sucks. Yeah, I'll be honest. I, I had to agree with that comment before. That submod for a royal? More fun. Um, I don't want to insult the devs, but man, Jesus Christ. The chosen one has ventured far and wide in his absence and seen a new side of the way. He had wandered decades prior. His view on the world had been quiet so many since the last escapade through the wild territories of California. Well, no one truly knew what the south side or southwest of the, the what side of the southwest the elderly adventurer had gone to. It was certainly an area where the grass simply wasn't greener. It was up to the chosen one's conviction on the past ideals whether hope would prevail or whether stagnation and wrath could take power over the future. He'd grown good. Come on, Chris, you'd say the same. Uh, a quiet return. A glorious return. Old acquaintances. Neutral karma. Okay, so this is going to determine a lot here. Eastern Riders. <coughs> Thunderbirds don't exist. We can't do that one anyways. Um, and then there's old friends. Is good karma or neutral karma? Four ways it goes that way. Taxation of tyranny. Uh, four ways try our way. It's owned by them. Eureka moment. Eureka exists. Eureka fisheries. Um, Republic taxes, support from old friends, NCR statehood, except the NCR, old acquaintances reopen the max sec, MODOK does not exist, home is Nevada, I feel like we should take this route maybe, we're kind of, we were butting heads with the NCR earlier, um, I kind of want a glorious return, well, what are we, do we choose now? We won't choose the same in the future. Old acquaintances. We don't have Modoc existing either, so. Oh, I'd like to do all this. Can we, get, can we even do this? Old friends. Cancel. It's owned by a royal. It requires one of the following, one of the following. And. Except the NCR. What do we go home as Nevada? Stay, stay the same. Lord's return. She was the one returning to the royal and glory for three days. The royal celebrated the return of their hero, knowing that their hero will return to them in their time of need. Well, I guess we'll see very soon. The council's new position. The chosen one's renewed leadership of royals returned the council to their previous position as an advisory board. Still, the time they spent in power has dramatically altered the dynamics of power, shifting how they would advise the chosen one in the future. So, what did you all get all get up to? And uh, nothing here. I guess we have no karma. Good karma, neutral karma. Oh, uh, we have bad, bad karma. What? Well then, uh, that makes no sense. I'm pretty sure we cho didn't choose bad karma. Well, let's go and use some cons commands more again to make sure you keep on going. Pretty sure we chose good karma. While our isolation kept us away from the formalized diplomacy, our relations with the Republic have always been amicable. Perhaps it's time to formalize a friendship between the two countries and lay the groundwork for further cooperation. Greater centralization. Our grip on the region has now been solidified. Having grown from a hopeful tribe to a mighty nation, we can now reconsider how we view the various bodies that agree to subjugation. While the lack of independence will remain true either way, we could begin to fully integrate them into our nation if we so wish. Begin to clean up border core. It's pretty nice. 
Now, uh, it looks pretty good, but... Still glitch. Yeah. Um... There's gonna be a lot of resistance here. There's some good compliance as well. But yeah, this seems glitched. Quite glitched. Um, these guys are busy fighting these guys over here. New Reno, New Klamath. Hmm. 89,000 manpower, about 1,000. They got up to 18 divisions, up to how many divisions they have over here? Quite a few. Quite a few. Um, we'll do that then. Basically, I have to keep using cons commands because I had. A, there's nothing we could have done. We had. We were forced to use literally cons commands to do anything in this last war. So, yeah, not great. But in the meantime, um, let's take a look see because we will do old acquaintances. While Royal never had any formal relations with the outside, chosen ones act as an ambassador of a royal, forged relations with many factions of the wasteland. Why not in Reno? Huh? Open. Reopen Maxsec. Maxsec, president of dangerous business, but had great potential. We can give it a second chance. And Reno Arms deal. Reno being the city it is, needs a lot of guns. They'd pay generously for the plus guns we have. What what, what they do what they do with them is not our concern. Reopen Maxsec. Even though we had two uprisings already. In hindsight, a prison complex run for profit was a great idea. Let's you open in and guard the way sense or trash. For is it not every person a treasure? Especially if we were paid to guard them. Bring them in. Yeah, bring them in. So... Uh, we're doing Vault City military tra training now. Uh, despite their xenophobia, Vault City accepted to train outsiders in their military training program, saying some of our forces would be trained by an elite force would greatly benefit our army. Now, Modoc deal auto-completed when we did finish the old acquaintances by using cons commands, but instead of relying on the Brahmin barons for increasing need of food, we can strike a deal with Modoc and keep the bear's influence over the region of Bay. Uh, Nevada's home. With a bear on the south and cannibal mutants on the north, we have to look for allies elsewhere. Perhaps we can form a pact with the nations of Nevada, who share the same predicament. Well, maybe. You never know. But I do apologize for being raging raged earlier, but... I don't know why, Eureka. I mean, yeah, it's a lot of hills and maybe even mountains down around here, but... It should not have been that difficult. At least in my opinion. But then again, what do I know? I haven't played Old World Blues in a while at the time of this recording, just because... Especially between this episode and the last episode, there's been almost, like, roughly a week. Because I'm just extremely busy at the time of this recording, and... For the, for the foreseeable future as well, so unfortunately, I'm very, 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 very busy. But, Klamath Trappers? Clam trappers of Klamath are excellent pathfinders and a boon for a local economy. Perhaps we can enlist their services. Yakuza Connection. As dangerous as the crime families of Reno, um, y y the Yakuza make good allies and fierce enemies. We can always make use of having contacts in the Yakuza for our shady, shady dealings. The Nevada Pact. Uh, we're gonna make this great. We're gonna make this so flipping great. So Nevada's here, but we don't get claims on anything. Get more traders from Hawaii at least. Well, we don't have any claims. I don't know. Let's see. Is that it? I think that's it for us. Well, I guess we could have become a puppet of the NCR, but kind of. Hmm. Actually, we could have done this one too. Yeah, it says we chose this one because we have bad karma. But it decided to not go that way, so okay, and I figured, you know, I'll go neutral. I did click on the neutral one, I'm pretty sure earlier in this episode. I'm not going that crazy, I'm pretty sure we chose neutral. So, I think this is still bugged. I think in the time of screwing, a royal is still bugged, and that's really disappointing, because earlier Thunderbirds did not exist, and I made sure that we didn't choose bad karma, we chose neutral. I'm more than certain, because I double checked. So, I don't know. I, don't know, I complained a lot on this video. I apologize for that. I apologize for complaining so much. Yeah, that sounds great. I, mean, I just got... There's just so much. I don't have time. I just don't have any more time. Um, so... Uh, I could go to that, but that's kind of a waste. Can I go to Medford? Compliance? Well, there's no compliance because it's a colony state, which is stupid. But I think that's pretty much going to be it for this campaign. Um, I definitely want to try, try it out a Royal just to see what it would be like. Wow, my cards are huge. Um, because I played that old, like I said in the last video. Ooh, Baja State. Um, I played a sub-mod, and... I think I still have to agree with myself here. I think I prefer that sub-mod to what's currently here. Um, in Old War Blues, just saying, you know, I personally enjoyed that other sub-mod back in the day compared to what's currently here, but obviously we have technically two other paths to do here. Of course, we have other paths here as well, but, you know, it is what it is. But, if you somehow enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.